Today we're going to cover how you can use N8N to extract leads from Google Maps and then save them into Google Sheets. Now this is just a common preliminary step when you're building lead generation or lead automation type workflows in N8N. So this is one of those things that you might do a lot in lots of different builds. So you can think of it as a foundational workflow. So it's really quite simple, but very, very valuable. So what I have here is a built out workflow. This is actually a template that is already available on NAN if you're using NAN Cloud. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. But what we'll do is we'll walk through each of these modules one by one. I'll explain what's going on the module. And once we've done that, I will build this workflow again from scratch just to show you that process as well. Now, what we're going to do is dive into this workflow. And you can see here that we have a very detailed explanation. And basically, it's like I said, right? You get a workflow, you trigger it with a click. You can also trigger this in other ways if you want. You can run this on a scheduled basis as an example, or you want to connect this to your WhatsApp or Telegram. Those are all possible. For the purposes of this template and this tutorial, I will just manually trigger the workflow. What will happen is we will use Dumpling AI to search for a certain location on Google Maps. Once we've done that, we get a list of places. So it's like when you go on Google Maps and I search, let's say, cafes in New York, you have this list of places, right? So what, what the workflow will return is this list of places. And you can pull out separate pieces of information as you need. So maybe you're not targeting cafes, maybe you're targeting real estate agents, something like that. Once you have a list of these real estate agents in a specific location, you can save them to your Google Sheets. And from Google Sheets, you can do all the processing you want to do, right? You can use a large language model like GPT 4.1 to generate outreach messages. You can import it into Apollo. You can do basically whatever you want, right? You can also use this for programmatic SEO. So maybe you want to generate a blog post for every cafe or something like that. So lots of different use cases for this type of stuff. So we have the places, we split them into individual items so that we can handle them separately. And then we save them to Google Sheets. So very, very straightforward, but I'll walk through each module one by one, each node one by one. The first one is the trigger, very self-explanatory. This is just to start off the workflow. This is probably the crux of it. This is using the Dumpling AI search maps endpoint. You don't have to use this endpoint. You know, there are lots of APIs out there. Even within Dumpling AI, there are other endpoints available. So this one is using search maps. I actually prefer to use search places. It has a little bit less information, slightly less, but it is much cheaper to run. So I actually use search places in most pla most situations. So we have templates for both on an end. So just make sure you choose the one that you want. And even if you pick the wrong one, you can just change the endpoint that you're using here. So instead of search maps, change it to search places and just update the request body, right? It goes without saying, in order to use this, you will need a dumpling AI account. You get 250 credits for free when you start. Um, you can see here the price of it is three credits per page of results. So each page is 10 results. So three credits per 10 results. So you have 250 credits. You can get 80 pages of results, 80 something pages of results. So 800 something results from Google places, right? Cool. So once you've done that, what you do is you go to the next step and this is just splitting the output. So it splits places, which is this list here, right? You can see that in the past when we've run this, we got these results, places, lots of different places, right? For best restaurants in New York. And we want to deal with each of these places one by one. So that's what this node does. Finally, we save these into Google Sheet, which is the place info. And you can see here, we're mapping them one by one, right? You will need to connect your Google account to N8N in order to do this. And you can see that is being saved. And once you've got this into Google Sheets, you can use this as a starting point for another workflow. Or if you don't want to say it's Google Sheets, you can go directly into your next workflow, right? Whether that, like I said before, generating outreach messages or anything like that. Cool. Okay. Let's get into a fresh build. So I'm not going to give this a name just because I will delete this after. But for the purpose of the tutorial, let's go through it. So first step, we're going to trigger this manually. As I said before, you don't have to do it this way. You can kick it off from another spreadsheet, whatever you want. That's not the focus for this tutorial, so we're just gonna start here. First step is, like I said before, we do need to search Google Places, right? Here it's searching Google Maps, so maybe for this tutorial, I'll do the other one. I'll search Google Places, right? So I'll copy this endpoint, and I'll come back here, and what you need is to use the HTTP request node, right? And this will be a post request, and you see the docs, it says post here. 
and you want to make a post request to the following URL, sorry, following URL, right? The authentication you will need to set up if you haven't done so already. It is a generic type. I use this one, the header auth. I believe NADN recently came out with bearer auth. Maybe not new, I'm imagining that, but I thought NADN, maybe in a more up-to-date version, has come out with bearer tokens, so you could use that too. But you can use header auth, and basically what your auth looks like is, is this. So you have your authorization, and you just need to put a bearer, a bearer like this word, and then a space before your API key. Right, so I've already got it set up, so I'm just going to choose dumping AI auth. That's all good. And then for the body, if I just come back to this, we basically just want to fill this thing out here, right? So you can fill these in manually. I might just use JSON because that's what I'm most comfortable with. And I just delete all these comments because NADN doesn't like them. I don't see why they should just strip them for us. But um, yeah, NADN doesn't like these comments, so make sure you delete them. And then you can change this, right? So a lot of these you don't really need. And you can delete a lot of this stuff. Try to keep it super simple. So we might say lawyers in mutual, right? Keep it super simple. Make sure your JSON is valid. And then you can test this step. And you can see here it's come back with lots of different results, right? 10 different results. And this is just page one. So if you wanted more, you can sort of iterate through the pages here. So you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want more. So you got that. Next step, as we said before, is to split up that list, that array. So we use the split out. And what we're going to split is the places, right? Right there. What we're going to do is add a destination field name. And we're just going to split this out into places. No, don't even need to actually, in this case. It's all nicely organized. So we've got this already split out into 10 items. And now you can just save this directly into Google Sheets if you would like. So sheets got it here. Assuming you're a very creative sheet, you just need to save. So append row in sheet, right? And you can just save your stuff basically, right? Yeah, that's basically it. Like I said before, this is very basic. I'm not going to do the mapping again because it will be quite specific to what you're scraping, but you can look into the template just to see what it looks like. So you're just mapping, for example, the title to the name, address to address. Because you might call your column something different in your Google Sheet, right? So you just need to make sure you map them. As I said before, you might want to also iterate to get more pages of result because each call just gives you 10 results. So um, that's the other thing there. Uh, yeah, that's basically it for this. Very, very common part of workflows. So definitely something that I would recommend you try to build even as a practice. But if you have any thoughts, questions, or comments, please leave them below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Let me know what you want to see next as well and I can make a tutorial on that.